I'm low rent, and I speak for the trees. And this is Tree Friday. Day. I remember all the military truck driving around the city, cheers and people, the neighbor and everybody were looking at them like they was kind of excited but scared. I met Sue in 1987. We quickly got married in 1991. Yeah, she would talk, you know, for hours on the way home in the car about some things that, you know, she, you know, she generally wouldn't want to talk about. Not long after the war ended, we was told to leave our home to the farmland, the middle of nowhere, no houses. You know, from there it just got worse. She would be, you know, they separated from the families, be in the uh, the camp. You feel trapped, and uh, it's like you overwork and malnourished because they only feed you small meal. Get up, what, 5 o'clock in the morning, everybody in bed by 7, maybe one meal in the morning, one meal at night, I don't know. And the meal just consists of, like, rice and some, like, vegetable soup or porridge. You know, that's kind of hard to take in. I was sent to live in a camp with a hundred other girls, mostly my age. I remember she keeps mentioning this friend over and over again, so it must haunt her somehow. Uh, having lunch with some young, another young girl her age. They be sick, we won't have no food to eat. So we all forced to work when even when we were sick. And I also witnessed one of my person in my group that was taken away to be killed while, while we was having supper together. And as for her family, cousins and uncles and so forth, every you know, they pretty much had a similar story. It's about, what, three years? When the Vietnam took over, the, everybody's kind of reunited with their family. And after not long after that, my family decided to leave Cambodia. We heard that American Red Cross and Thailand border, so we are leaving toward the, the border. Her brother has his wife and they have three kids, and just like any other family. That's all they really want to do, just raise a family like everybody else. 